What's up, everybody? Once again, it is time for Funko News. This edition of Funko News was recorded on July 30th, 2022. As usual, I'm starting off with the focus on figures that are available right now. This does include the Target exclusive Tanjiro Pop and T-Set. Um, somebody did ask me what is the difference with this Pop from the common figure. And I think you can see it here with this image that he is battle damaged. Um, so he has a little bit of scarring and, you know, kind of dust up um, features on him. Um, also, you see here this My Hero Academia exclusive, this glow in the dark figure. And forgive me, I'm not sure how to pronounce this character's name. Uh, looks like Koragiri, possibly. But yeah, yeah, that figure is pretty easy to find. I've actually seen these two exclusives with my own eyes and my local target and they have been available on the website as well i think they've been kind of dropping in and out of availability um you also see here the thor and mighty thor two pack which is a target exclusive i haven't seen that one in store yet and honestly i'm just waiting for the four pack to get released um if i'm not mistaken that might be with walmart i may have to double check on that but yeah i think i would like to have valkyrie and gore the god butcher along with these two figures here as well so just remember that is an option or you know you know you can go ahead for thor and mighty thor together if you're interested in them uh, with walmart they do have the glow in the dark mr knight of course from the moon knight series this is starting to show up in some walmart locations and that has been available on the website as well i actually did a pre-order for that one so i don't have to hunt it down i'm just waiting for the pre-order to arrive with Hot Topic, they do have their exclusive My Melody figure starting to show up in stores, and that has been um, steadily listed on the website. And then some um, common waves are starting to hit stores. That does include the latest Full Metal Alchemist figures and also the ET, the extraterrestrial um, pops as well. So do be on the lookout for those. Now, as far as SDCC is concerned, I'm going to tell people, you know, again, don't give up on the pops that you are interested in because um, some of them are starting to show up in stores, of course, for the ones that were shared with um, brick and mortar stores, basically. So, uh, you know, Supersonic is starting to show up in some Walmart locations. And do remember that is a glow in the dark figure that I think a lot of people are interested in. So it's out there. You know, do be on the lookout for it still. Um, you see uh, Gran Torino is available as well. He's with Box Lunch. Um, and then there's some other ones as well. You know, I got here um, Jam, of course, Councilman Jam as well. But there are some other ones, too, that are showing up in stores. So so, like I said, still be on the lookout for those if you were not able to get them online. Also, make sure that you do check Funko.com. They still have some SDCC figures that are available. Now, I know because some of these are just sitting here, some people may not be so worried about them. But once they sell out, there's no guarantee on a restock on Funko.com. So if there's anything there that you actually want, you might want to go ahead and make sure that you get it before it does eventually sell out. Um, also check Funko.com because they do have some other um, store exclusives that are on there right now. For example, I noticed that they actually have the Flocked Eagly from Peacemaker. Um, that's actually an Amazon exclusive, but it is with Funko.com right now as well. And like I said, there are some other figures um, that are new on the site. So do make sure you check that out. As far as Enmu is concerned, of course, from Demon Slayer, he is shared with Hot Topic and he has been dropping in and out of availability on the Hot Topic website. So again, you know, keep checking the website to see if you can catch up to that figure. And who knows, some Hot Topic locations might actually have him in store as well, because I don't think some got him originally with the other um, con exclusives. So you never know, he might show up in your local Hot Topic as well. Um, also with Funko.com, they did release the Black Like Santa J Jack Skellington, of course, from the Nightmare Before Christmas. And they did a restock on the Blacklight Oogie Boogie as well. At the time of this recording, both of those figures are available on Funko.com. So you can snatch those up if you're interested. I'm going to focus here on baseball for a moment. So you see here in the upper left, this uh, pop pin. Um, so the Freddie Funko Aqua Sox pop pin is going to be given away at the Aqua Sox game on August 5th. And of course, that's the, the upcoming Friday from the time of this video. There's also going to be a Webley soda. I don't have an image of that just yet, but that will be given away at the game on August 19th. So if you're in that area, uh, you, know, you know, you attend those games. Just keep in mind that there are some pretty awesome exclusives that you can get your hands on there. Um, Johnny Bench Pops will be given away during the Reds versus Rocky game on um, September 3rd. Dan Wilson Pops will be given away at the Seattle Mariners game on September 10th. And an Ozzy Pop will be given away at the Braves versus Mets game on September 30th. So if you can attend any of these games, just make sure you mark your calendar, give yourself that reminder. And of course, you know, the majority of us cannot attend these events. So do check the second market for any of these figures that you, um, you know, miss out on basically. Now, I did share previously the uh, first 
item in this series this uh Boruto series which is um deluxe figures that are exclusive with GameStop and you see that they did reveal the next one in that line so you can go ahead and pre-order actually both of these at the time of this recording are still listed on the website and um this particular one is up for a November release I'm not sure if they're gonna like stagger the releases like they do with other sets um I would I would think there would be some spacing in between these releases but again you can check that out with GameStop now with uh, Funimation, and I'm just going to say Crunchyroll as well because that's the site you actually go to now. Remember Funimation has basically rolled into Crunchyroll, um, no pun intended there. But uh, yeah, that is where you would find the listing for the Glow in the Dark Princess Hibana figure um, and that is a character from Fire Force. Now at the time of this recording, she is not currently available but she is still listed and you can sign up to be notified when she becomes available again because yes, she did become available and um, she did pre-sell out but she did not completely sell out though, you know what I'm saying? So um, she is going to be available again. And like I said, you might want to sign up for that notification if you're really interested in that particular figure. So Funko has already gotten into mobile games. Um, you know, that's nothing new for them. But they actually want to get into triple A game development. Um, and they did this announcement about it. There's going to be a lot more details regarding this in 2023. Um, they're partnering up with this uh, company. I, I think it's 10 times game or 10 10 10 games i'm not exactly sure how they say the name there but yeah they're getting interested in actually doing some triple a gaming i'm very curious to see where they could go with this um i hope they you know know exactly what they're doing with this because game development is very expensive it is very expensive so um you know hopefully it does pay off for the company and uh yeah again they're with this company 1010 games i'm not familiar with them i may have to look up and see if they've done anything that i'm familiar with previously uh definitely let me know your thoughts about this though what do you think about funko trying to get into the triple a gaming space um funko also has their own um soda can toppers now so this is a way where you can um sit the soda figure up top and also have a little slot there for the pog to be displayed as well i've seen things like this listed on etsy I actually purchased some things like this from etsy and um i've seen some other people on like instagram promoting things like this so yeah funko is doing that now officially their own version um i might get some just to check it out and see how it kind of compares to what else is out there as far as displaying sodas is concerned uh, to the right here you see that there is this upcoming nft drop which will take place on august 9th and it is for avatar legends um so you know i'm not going to say too much about this i think by now people know my feelings about nfts in general um i think it is going to frustrate some people if they're you know completionists and they're trying to get all the figures for a certain series and then they find out that there's going to be these physical nft pops um you know some people might feel a certain way about that but please do share your own personal thoughts about these avatar legends pops what do you think about this drop and just what do you think about these nft physical pops in general so moving on here, focusing on Pop Rocks, um, this had been rumored for a good while that there would be a Tupac Shakur to Apocalypse Now pop album, and now we do get a look at it. A look at it, excuse me. And this is a common item that you can pre-order with various retailers. Same thing is true for Sir Mix-a-Lot. I did uh, mention him last time, and this is like the official image, of course, here for Sir Mix-a-Lot. Again, a common item you can pre-order with various retailers. Um, I don't think that the Blink 182 three-pack is listed just yet. At least I have not seen it listed anywhere just yet, but it should be available um very soon i think that is a pretty cool looking um three pack there here we have the official reveal for these four inch five nights at freddy's reversible head plushies um they're common so you can pre-order those with various retailers right now you also see here the Amazon exclusive Winnie the Pooh VHS cover um it's available for pre-order right now with Amazon and that has an October 4th release now, it had been rumored, and I said that more than likely it would be revealed soon, and we see here now the um, Pop in a Box exclusive Skeleton Stitch, which does have a glow-in-the-dark chase variant. Um, it's up for pre-order right now with Pop in a Box, and it's going to have a November release, and at the time of this recording, like I said, it is still available on the website. There are more Disney princesses with pins on the way. Um, more than likely, these are going to be with Funko.com as well. Uh, of course, you see here Cinderella, Milan, and um, Anna. So yeah, they should be coming up pretty soon. And of course, as they get released, I will do like community posts and update you in Funko News as well. Um, Hot Topic is going to have an exclusive black light Oogie Boogie skateboard deck coming up soon. Um, that's another thing I'll come back to once it actually gets um, you know officially released. You also see here this game. Um, this game has kind of a long title. So it's the Disney Happiest Day Magic Kingdom Park Edition um, game that is available right now with various retailers. That is a common item. As far as, you know, what the game actually entails, what type of game it is, I really am not too sure about that. Um, but you can follow up on that if you are interested. 
So last time I did share just a side view of the uh, Nightcrawler pop. Now we get a much better look here at Nightcrawler. Um, I do think he looks pretty awesome. Again, I'm not really too familiar with that look with the, the headband, but um, I couldn't really see it from the side view. He actually does have a sword with him. I really do like that detail. I love, um, you know, what Night what Nightcrawler is capable of with his teleporting around and making use of the sword. He can be a pretty dangerous character. Um, we also get a look here at Jubilee. I love that she has the big, um, you know, pink shades there. And of course, she has like sort of that spark effect in her hand there now the character long shot i'm this is the character i'm least familiar with i uh, don't really know much about him i did have a friend give me a little bit of um, backstory on him but i think i think he looks pretty awesome as well so these pops here um they're coming soon don't know the official u.s retailer at this point um i think the, you know these are already available with some overseas retailers and companies that can get pops from overseas but as far as where these will officially release in the u.s i don't know right now so i will come back to these figures eventually okay with target they did reveal some more black light pops um it's a pretty good mix here but personally i think the only thing i would be possibly interested in is the uh, gamora and nebula two pack um i i think it's cool that they you know put the sisters together there the colors look all right but i'm just gonna wait to see that up close of course you can check the website for um any of the items that you are seeing here um i do think the the rescue pop looks kind of awesome as well and of course they have that rescue and pop tea um pack there but, um, you know, again, I, I just want to see some of these up close before I make any purchasing decisions. Definitely let me know what you think about these pops here. And, of course, you see that they do have a, a mini backpack. They have glassware and some other items that go along with um, these releases here. That does include that Valkyrie pop pin, which does have a chase variant. So, of course, you can be on the lookout for these or in store. Or, like I said, you can check the website if you are interested in any of these. Walmart has an exclusive Black Panther mini backpack, which should be showing up in stores pretty soon. And they also have a pin set on Black Panther, which is based on the art series designs. And by the way, I did share those pops previously. Those art series Black Panther pops are actually starting to show up in some Walmart locations. So be on the lookout for those. Um, like I've said previously, I think I will go for at least the Black Panther one. I got to look at the other ones up close before I decide whether I'll get those or not. Um, you also see here this uh, Thor Love and Thunder um, pop tea which is a common item so you can pre-order this with various retailers right now uh, with the marvel collector core which of course is you know an amazon exclusive subscription box um, they are going to have one that will be focused on spider-man across the spider-verse part one um, so it'll be interesting to see what they put in there they're definitely going to have a lot of possibilities and really right now I don't know much about the movie and I'm okay with that. You know, um, I'll patiently wait for a trailer, but I really want to go into this movie not knowing too much up front. I, I want to be surprised by some of the things that they'll have for us within that movie. Um, you also see here that there is going to be a die cast Thor, which of course will be exclusive on Funko.com and it will have a chase variant there, which is basically, um, you know, sort of metallic paint job or silver whatever you want to call it there um don't know when exactly that is going to become available should be in the near future here though and when i see it go up i will try to do a community post on that i'm also here focusing on thor with thor love and thunder you see that there is a specialty specialty series variant there of gore the god butcher um a more sinister looking one of him i actually prefer the common pop though so i'd rather have the common within that four pack that i mentioned previously over this figure here but that is a specialty series figure that means it will be available with some smaller retailers including comic book shops and then you see here that entertainment earth has this exclusive of thor and his ravager outfit which i think is pretty cool there and um the reference there with the way that he's holding Stormbreaker, it might be a reference to something that did happen within the movie. Some people still have not seen that movie yet, so I won't say too much about it right now. But yeah, that is a cool looking pop there. And again, that is available for pre-order right now with Entertainment Earth. I think it was right after the last Funko News video that we did get to see the Wakanda Forever Pops. You know, so here are the official reveals for those figures. Of course, we see that it is a mix of characters that we're already familiar with, as well as some new characters coming into the franchise. We don't see an actual Black Panther here. And, and I saw somebody ask about this in the comments, but uh, to me, it's kind of obvious that they have not revealed the new Black Panther fully in live action yet. You know, there wasn't a full reveal 
in the trailer so we may not see that actual black panther pop until closer to the movie release or maybe even after the movie comes out and i doubt that funko would do just one version of that black panther as well so yeah there's going to be black panther pops we just got to be patient like i said i think they're going to wait until we actually get to see the new black panther in live action and i think they will expand on this line here as far as what we see here right now i think the standouts are of course namor i think namor looks pretty cool with his design there i like what they're doing with iron heart this seems to be like her initial armor and it doesn't fully cover her up this seems to me like something more that you know a teenager would be able to put together you know given the parts and the knowledge there so i like i like what they're doing with iron heart so far you see here that shuri is going to have a funko.com exclusive and then she does have a pop ride or a pop deluxe whatever they prefer to call it on the box there as well so yeah this is an interesting mix i do like this um you know the pop tee that we see here as well which is going to be on funko.com i might actually go for that particular t-shirt there so again remember they're, they're definitely going to do more with wakanda forever i'm mainly saying this for new collectors new connect collectors may not realize this that when you see these types of reveals it doesn't mean that's all that funko is going to do um sometimes you just have to be kind of patient and of course we will get more figures especially once a movie is out and it's released you know all right, so moving on here, focusing on Hall H. This was something I didn't know about up front, but yeah, Funko actually did have um, their own display or event, you know, whatever you want to call it there, the presentation, I guess I'll say, um, with Hall H for um, San Diego Comic-Con. And the people that were in attendance were able to get a box that contained two pops. So it seems like everybody got the Freddy Funko figure that you see here. And of course, that Freddy Funko is all dressed up and ready for his San Diego Comic-Con. Looks like he's been grabbing up some swag and all of that. And then, of course, they get uh, one of these other pops here. So the other options were the glow-in-the-dark blue Demogorgon, the glow-in-the-dark white Demogorgon, the um, Shang-Chi figure that you see here, which is all red, and then the Johnny Lawrence from Cobra Kai, which is all black. So these pops, they're kind of simple in terms of design but of course with them being hall h exclusives for one thing i think that's a completely new sticker I, I don't recall ever seeing that before so i think this is something new and then also some of these figures have very low counts especially the shang chi and the johnny lawrence only 500 pieces each so that's why you're going to see some pretty crazy prices on the second market but who knows after a couple of months maybe a year or so maybe those prices will come down some but again these are rare figures so that is something to consider if you're going to be looking at the second market I do want to point out as well that it seemed like there was going to be an Ahsoka figure in the mix and that did not get released. So I'm not sure exactly what's going on there. Maybe we will see that Ahsoka figure show up somewhere else. Now, as far as what Funko actually talked about during their um, presentation, they did talk about, you know, um, be being a part of some upcoming events, including um, the D23 Expo, of course, for this year. Um, as far as New York Comic Con is concerned, Funko and Loungefly are going to have this theme. I don't know if it's the full theme or just like a partial theme necessarily, but um, it's called Frightmare on Fun Street. So we can expect to see some things related to horror, of course, for New York Comic Con. And then it does seem that there is going to be a box as well, a Fright Night box. Um, don't know what it's going to contain, but I'm already very interested to see what that could contain. When I learn more details about what is going on with New York Comic Con and the whole Frightmare on um, Front Street thing, of course, I will share that information with you all. Uh, Rosario Dawson was on hand uh, with this presentation, and she actually did a pop talk um, there while she was at Hall H and while she was at, you know, the convention. Um, Bella Porch did show up again. Of course, she was at the Fun Days event, but she showed up again, you know, to talk about her upcoming um, pop as well. And then they did have some reveals for some upcoming figures. Remember, I shared a full list previously of the possible No Way Home pops. Here we get a look at some of them. So, of course, we get a look at each of, you know, the Spider-Man that was in the movie. Um, so, and these could potentially be in a three-pack. Um, I think there may be more than one version of each Spider-Man. But we'll see exactly what happens with that. But, of course, this is all of them, you know, in a swinging pose. Um, and then we also, of course, get a look here at Doc Ock, which I think he looks perfect. I think they did a great job with him. And remember, there's plenty more on the way like i said i have shared rumors previously about no way home and we don't have release dates just yet trust me when i know about you know these figures um you know coming out of course i will update you all with that um it seems like there are um two more batman figures on the way one of them has him um standing up like on the top of a building you, you see the gargoyle there beneath his feet i think that looks pretty cool there um funko actually did a series of pops like that previously there were gamestop exclusive so it's kind of interesting to see them come back to that type of design and there is going to 
to be a lights and sounds Batman as well. I'm definitely interested in that one. And it actually looks like a, a, a variant there now that I'm looking closer. So, you know, when I learn more about what exactly is going on with these Batman pops, of course, I will update you all with that. You see that there are some more Ted Lasso pops on the way, including a chase of Ted Lasso. They have a new product on the way. Um, it's called Biddy Pop and Biddy Soda. So just miniature versions of pops and sodas. And then uh, Michael Jordan is getting um, some gold figures there. You see two of them here. I wouldn't be surprised if one of, if one of those is actually a chase. So um, they didn't have a lot of reviews uh, with this whole H event, but there are some things here that are interesting. And like I said, please be patient as I learn more about the No Way Home figures. I'm definitely going to try to keep you all updated with those. All right, y'all, we do have a rumor mill here, not as extensive as some, as some of the other recent rumor mills, but I still want to try to keep you up to date with what could be on the way. So with Bob's Burgers, we could get the itty bitty ditty committee. Now, if you watch the series, you know that that is um, basically the main children from the series. They formed a band together and it looks like we at least will get a Tina figure. But I'm just going to say the itty bitty ditty committee because I'd be surprised if they did Tina and did not do the other members of the band. So looking forward to seeing how that turns out uh, with Disney. We could get a new Oswald figure. Of course, there is a vaulted Oswald, but we could get a new version of that character with a chase variant. Um, I did share this rumor previously i just decided to go ahead and cover this again we could get a figure of walt disney himself doing a drawing more than likely that would be a drawing of steamboat willie you know um, mickey mouse um, with spider-man no way home uh, we could actually get a pop of ned with uh, the cloak you know with, with dr strange dr strange's cloak we could also get green goblin with bomb um, i wouldn't be surprised if we see more than one version of green goblin um you know that'll be interesting to see what happens there we could get a a new full wave of care bear pops and each one of them could actually have a chase variant now these are listed on Amazon they're not listed with pictures though I'm still putting them in the rumor mill for right now because like I said we just we don't have the actual images yet and I've seen it happen before where some things got listed early on a website and then they disappeared and we didn't hear about them for a good while you know that happened with the McDonald's pops originally that they were listed on Amazon then they disappeared and it was like a year before we heard about McDonald's pops again before they officially came out so that's why like I said they're in the rumor mill for right now but um the pops that we could get are include care a lot champ hopeful heart true heart and wish bear you know so those are the new ones that we could get uh, with coco we could get miguel with a glow in the dark guitar that could be interesting looking uh, with lord of the rings we could get smeagol in, in a transformation with godzilla versus kong we could get a black light godzilla really looking forward to seeing how that turns out uh, with boba fett we could get a 10 inch rancor with grogu with the office we could get a utica three pack if you know the office you know that episode pretty funny so um, i'll be interested to see how that turns out might even consider picking that up because that was a pretty funny episode um from the arkham games we could get the riddler and the riddler actually had more than one look within the game so i'm curious to see what look they will go with if that actually does pan out uh, with My Hero Academia, we could get a glow-in-the-dark Tenya, an Ice Todoroki with a glow-in-the-dark Chase as well. Uh, with One Piece, we could get a Metallic Snake Man Luffy. Uh, we could also get a Naruto exclusive, and I'm not sure how to pronounce the name, but you see that name mentioned here. And this Bleach exclusive, I think I might have shared this previously, but I'm just throwing it in here again, and this could actually be an Emerald City Comic Con exclusive. Again, I'm not sure how to say the character's name, but you do see it here on the screen. So, um, yeah, there's a lot to look forward to here. I think um, I really think all of these will pan out to be true, but you never know what could happen in terms of licensing. Sometimes things do fall through. So we'll see what happens. All right, y'all, that is going to do it for this edition of Funko News. As always, I hope that you got something out of it. Definitely let me know which figures caught your attention within this video, what you hope to add to your collection, also what rumors you hope pan out to be true, and let me know what you have picked up recently. What have you added to your collection recently? And that, of course, could include, you know, what um, SDCC figures you're still hunting down and have picked up. Uh, thank you all so much for taking the time to check this out. Please make sure you drop a like if you haven't done so already. Share the video if you think it's going to help out other collectors. And I will talk to you all again real soon.